Hey everybody, so the NHL offseason is in full swing now. We have signings and trades happening almost every other day at this point. There's been a lot going on since the Stanley Cup final ended. I'm trying to keep up with it all. Um, so I'm going to do a, a good number of videos today on all sorts of different things. Um, and we're going to start with a trade that happened a couple days ago uh, between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Chicago Blackhawks. The Penguins sent old defenseman Ole Mata to Chicago in exchange for Dominic Cahoon and a fifth round draft pick in this year's draft. So when you look at this deal, um, obviously Ole Mata has been in Pittsburgh for a few years now. Um, still only 24 years old, a young defenseman, but uh, he's played a number of seasons with the Penguins and um, injuries have really been a... a problem for Mata to this point in his career. Uh, he's only played the full 82 game season once. That was in 2017-18. Um, and pretty much every other every other year other than his rookie year, besides last season, or well not this season that just happened, but 2017-18, he played less than 70 games in the season. He's also missed a large number of playoff games due to injury. Um, so injuries have been a, a big-time issue for Ole Mata. He only played 60 games this past season in the regular season. He had one goal and 13 assists for 14 points. And, and Mata is a guy who I think was just expendable on, uh, on Pittsburgh's roster. And Pittsburgh's not a team that I certainly don't think is done making moves. They're, I, they're a team that I think is going to be very active throughout this offseason and making roster changes. This is just the you know one of the first of many in my mind. Um, but he was a guy that was a little bit expendable, and they get Dominic Cahoon in return. And Cahoon played his first NHL season last year with Chicago. He's 23 years old. He played all 82 games for the Blackhawks this, uh, last year. He had 13 goals, 24 assists for 37 points. So not you know not a bad season for a rookie. And and Cahoon is somebody who who really fits that Pittsburgh mold and what they want in their forward group. He's fast. He's got offensive skill. He's got some talent there, and he has room to improve. At only 23 years old, I could certainly eventually see him being a 20 to 25 goal scorer in the NHL. So <clears throat> this move certainly, I think, makes sense from a Pittsburgh standpoint. Cahoon is absolutely much cheaper than Ole Mata at this point. Um, they also get the draft pick out of it, although the fifth round pick isn't really a huge deal. But they get a speedy, skilled forward, and they get rid of a defenseman who has been... I don't want to say a disappointment, but kind of underwhelming from what we thought he was going to be. I don't think Ole Mata really ever turned into the <clears throat> the high-end player that after his rookie season we thought he was going to be. His rookie year, he played 78 games. He had 9 goals and 20 assists for 29 points, but he never consistently did that. The next season, he only had 9 points. Then the season after that, he had 19. Then this next season, he only had seven. Then uh, the season that he had the, played the full season in 2017-18, he had 29 again. And then this past season, he only had 14. Obviously, missed time and injuries have played a role in that. But Mata never really turned into what he, what a lot of people thought he was going to turn into after seeing him his rookie year. And... Um, I think that made him a little bit expendable as far as Pittsburgh was concerned. And if there was a guy to move, it was likely to be him. Now for Chicago, they do have a lot of good young forwards and they need help defensively. So this also does make sense for them if Mata can stay healthy. Um, Cahoon is, you know, they have a lot of young forwards who, in, who are pretty similar to Dominic Cahoon. So it's not like he taking him out of that lineup is a massive loss. I think they have other people that they could plug into that spot. Um, their issue is on defense, and you have Duncan Keith and Brent Seabrook who are aging and aging fast. And other than that, there's really not a whole lot on that back end. So I think Ole Mata is a nice addition for them if he can stay on the ice. Uh, but again, that's been a big problem is staying on the ice. Um, but... 
So I just, I think that this trade could potentially work out for both teams. I think it makes sense from both teams standpoint in, in where their team needs were and, and just the value of this deal for both sides. So, um, Chicago gets defensive help as long as Mata stays healthy, which they desperately need. And Pittsburgh gets a young, skilled, speedy forward who fits their mold and, and will help out offensively. So I think both teams could potentially benefit from this trade. And I think that both teams are far from done making roster moves. So this is not like it's going to be the only you know big move of their off seasons and that's it. They're going to continue to, to work on these rosters and, and lineups. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. We are on our road to 1,000 subscribers, so please help get us there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon.